Okay. Manual. Oh, probably just the manual for the game. Okay, we're gonna dive right in then. Go. Oh, we get to make a little dude. <gasps> okay, hat's pretty strong. No. A few artifacts on the emulator that I'm using, but overall, not too shabby. Ooh. Whoa, hairdo. In pie chart. Can be a little maid. Can be a little Perseus. Hmm. I feel like it's really down to these two. purple ones out here. Uh, let's see. That's a good heroic sounding name. Statistics. Things for later. From the beginning. Goddess Kundra, source of all worlds, foresees the future. One sector will displace her as the source, and he will disrupt the entire universe. Kundra knows the world he will appear in. It is Soltalia, world of Soltis, scepter turned god. Kaldra sends Goligan to Soltalia to put an end to Gemini's ambitions. Goligan is a nightmare. <laughs> All right. All the rusticness that the uh, graphics card could handle. Yeah, he really is just a little. Whoa, a little staff man. <laughs> you have no hands. Staff nappers. Oh, this man is a pirate. only appropriate that when an abomination comes from beyond the stars that people hunt it down. I, I think River in here is actually in the right and is making some money off it as well so I can't really begrudge him. <laughs> Dramatic. <gasps> you have Yu-Gi-Oh cards as well. I want to establish right up front though, this is absolutely not Yu-Gi-Oh! and has nothing in common with Yu-Gi-Oh! He's got one of them breezy hats. The Magic Staff of God. Not a bad title. Golagun's gonna walk us through the whole thing. So all you really need to know is that Coldcept is sort of magic meets board game. Uh, a lot of the stuff on the right there is gonna be probably pretty obvious or you'll get the, the gist of. Uh, I'll shout out some of the uh, more salient points as we go through. Um, 
But yeah, neat little game. Uh, giant Bat, pretty normal, uh, basic card. Uh, item Limit, it's got that little mark next to it with the X over it, just means that Giant Bat here can't use scrolls because Giant Bat is illiterate, and that's sad. All right, what we got in our hands here? We've got a goblin. Uh, not good, but not bad. Giant amoeba, pretty decent for up front. Uh, good strength, 30. A uh, little, oh. Goblin's a basic level card, but is zero gold, so that doesn't suck. Um, this guy flat out neutralizes fire and earth. It's pretty good, 50. Hurricane's great. Uh, it's one of a number of, essentially, wall cards. Every one of the elements has a wall card. And, uh, their strength is crap, but their, de their defense is pretty good. And they usually have some... They're usually pretty good to drop on a land, which we'll get into in a few seconds, and, uh, they lock it down pretty well. Uh, sprites... not great. And then we have our bat. Okay, so nothing we no spells to use up front. So we had blue and yellow cards for the most part, so we want to go in the direction of yellow. Golagon explains imperialism to us. Alright, hurricane. Anybody who comes along and lands on that space now has to fuck with a hurricane. At the top there, you can see that right now I'm in second place for reasons. Um, mostly because he just put down a cheaper card than I did, so he has more total uh, mana juice. so I'm not going to be getting any bonuses. You can see the different colors here uh, around the borders of the cards show what sort of cards they are. We've got our gray dude here who's just neutral. Blue is water. Yellow is air or wind. Uh, if you put a yellow card on a yellow space or a red card on a red space, etc., the uh, monster that you put down there gets a bonus for uh, the, uh, the affinity. We don't have any red cards, but, uh, our goblin here, he's not going to gain any bonuses anywhere. He might as well not gain any bonuses there. Magic bolt. 40 damage to anybody. I'll hold on to that. The tricky thing here is I believe I can only hold on to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 cards total. So uh, I'm going to want to start getting rid of these just so I don't have to get forced into abandoning them. Alright. Now I get to fight a dude. I've landed on his space. I can either just pay him money. 16. Not a ton. Or... I can throw down one of my dudes here. Now, if I win, I'm going to get the land. So I probably don't want to use one of my yellow guys. I'm on the offense, so I attack first. Oh, you're right. Part of the game screen is not fitting into the window. Let me fix that real quick. Shout out there, I guess. 
Okay, where were we? Now that we can all see the card art. Actually, that still seems not quite right, does it? There we go. Much better. Okay. Um, so, I'm on the offense, I get to attack first. Let's see if I can check out his Marfolk here. He's got 30 hit points. He's getting a bonus 10 hit points because of the land there. So, he's gonna have 40 total. I've got no equipment, nothing to up my attack or anything. We'll see a little more of that later. So I think I'm just going to take the hit. It's not too bad. Aim for the castle. Martha. Hurricane. Alright, so he's attacking me. We can see that his Marfolk there only has 20 strength. I've got a hit. I've got my hurricane hit points at 50. The land effect bumps it up to 60. Unless he's got some piece of equipment that he just used, which he might, because I think he had a mace. Um, he's only doing 20 damage. So I think even with that mace, he's not gonna be able to kill me. And I don't really have a choice, considering I have no equipment and a hurricane can't use any equipment anyway. So, we're just gonna take whatever it is. <laughs> Hurricane's good because it attacks. Because it attacks first. Alright. So he dealt some damage to me, that's actually the benefit that he gets out of that. And uh, that'll hang on to my hurricane. Uh, he'll regenerate it over time. That Marfolk, though, that I damaged goes right back into his hand. And while it's in his hand, it instantly recovers. Got some armor now. down my amoeba. Hmm. Those are good. Pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna pass the castle here. The castle is essentially go. Good luck to your next journey. Yeah, Cold Sep Saga was on the 360 and is pretty great, though the only thing that I didn't like about that was I started playing with this one for the PlayStation 2, and all of the, uh, let's see if I can show it here. So on the board, every time you put down a dude, it turns into this adorable little chibi version of whatever the monster is. And the, um, super cute versions of a variety of horrible monsters was totally what sold me on this game. So when they didn't carry that over onto the 360, the game's still great, but that was always something that disappointed me a little bit. So, uh, yeah, when I got this working, figured I'd show it off for y'all. Alright, so I've landed on my territory again here. Uh, now that I'm here, I can essentially monopoly this place up. Uh, if I want, I can change the color of the land, but I've got a yellow card on a yellow square, so that's pretty good. Uh, I can yellow it up, yellow it up, level it up, um, which I think we're gonna do. That makes it a little stronger. It also increases the value of the land, and it increases the toll. So you can see there at the bottom, toll has gone from 16 to 48. You've 
got a reward. Good luck to your next journey. Discard your card. So I'm not doing that every turn. See about Zart and one of his guys. How about this sucker? Doesn't kill him, but takes him down to 10. Slow also doesn't suck here, because now I get to put down... Another one of my guys that generates a chain, and you can see that the 64 or 68, whatever we had on Hurricaneville, has now just jumped up to 72. Gorlagon fills us in. So I don't want him to get this place. He's going to be hitting me for 20, plus whatever item he just threw on, if any. My guy's got 30. I don't want to use my actually good chainmail, but leather armor sort of sucks. And I need to clear out my card anyway, or cle clear out my hand anyway. He's getting a bonus to damage there since he's a red card in a red land. The battle was wrong. So he wasn't able to defeat me, I wasn't able to kill him. I get 16 monies out of the deal. Okay, maybe. Now, if I wanted to roll a 1 here, that would take me right on to the next yellow space, but. The Holy Words are sort of good defensive and offensive spells, so I'm gonna hold on to it and maybe get lucky with slow. Eh. Aim for the castle. Just gave his money back to him. Weakness. What a good. Lizard Man, Marvel. Okay, there's nothing that I can do to increase his hit points, but uh, his strength is, my lizard man's strength is at 30 here, and I already tapped away at that Marfolk's hit points with the magic bolt, so we'll see how this pans out. Got a reward. Good luck to your next journey. As Golagon just explained, when we land on either the tower right here or the castle up here, we can select any one of our locations. This got 30 defense, Blizzard folks got 40, it's pretty great. Gonna level him up. In fact, 
Got some extra cash. A douche. 192 if he lands on there. Can't best him. You've got a reward. <laughs> Good luck to your next journey. And sometimes the timing works out just like that. Giant rat. Lizard man. Even if he uses like a mace or something, he's not getting through. So this might be cocky, but I'm not using crap. We both have first attack. The defense was too strong. The lesson is that rats don't swim. So we can use that up right now. Mana. 50 mana for every lap. Not bad. Here, have some of your money back. Hmm. Fighter. Pretty good basic card. hit points and I can only deal 20 I can't improve that I could throw down a fighter fighter and then even oh. though I won't get the land bonus I might be able to switch it out later nice I'm getting a plus 20 on my strength there because I'm adjacent to two places and there's Essentially, a flanking bonus. Two places that I control, right? That is. Game for the castle. See, he just switched out his no land bonus skeleton for that dragonfly that gets the land bonus, and that's exactly what I'm looking to do with the fighter here. here if I want, or I can muck with the territories that I just passed over. She's been weakened. And what we're gonna do... Let's replace her with the bug. Goblin. Strength of 20. He's got some maces there. If he maces, then he's gonna be able to take my dude out. So I'm gonna throw in some armor. It's good that I did. The defense was too strong. So not only did I survive, but he lost his dude and now has to pay me a money. Oop, and a mace. Good luck to your next journey. I'll pay a wolf. I 
shatter. Discard your card. Hmm. Shatter. No more mace. Aim for the castle. Got a reward. Good Lucky luck to bastard. your next journey. Oh. High level bug. Whoa. The hit points. That doesn't suck. Come on, land there. Roll a two. Or roll a one. Dang. Alright. So what's our objective here? Every time around, we're trying to get a certain amount of mana. This time... The goal is 5,000. Okay. And I'm halfway there. So I could use my Holy Word 1, take one step, and lock in that next territory. But I'd really rather use that to force him onto one of my spots. Oh, I'm glad I played it that way. Alright, this guy's only good for defense. Yeah, yeah, look at that little turtle. Fly, that's essentially haste, that's cool. Aim for the castle. Oh, another mighty bug. You've got a reward. Good luck yeah, to your next money. journey. Do I want to break up his chain here? Eh. Not really at the moment. Oh, he's just trying to swore over my block here. You've got a reward. Ha! <laughs> Good, Good job, champ. Journey. Tiger beetle. Giant amoeba. Forty forty. Got sixty. And I neutralize green attacks, so bring it on. And you're dead. So much for bug. Was too strong. Ah! Shake him for his biscuits. Discard your card. Hmm. All right. Don't really need two of these. Aim for the castle. Oh, good. Uh, Thirty. 30, both 30 hit points. She gets good attack. Okay. You want a three? Dang. Giant. Oh, that's my goblin. Goblin. Mm. Hmm. He's getting a bonus for. Me being flanked, I don't care about this place enough. Enjoy your new rat town. The offense defeated the enemy.
card for cards. Clearing out my hand. Great. It's a little pricey. But why not? Kadoosh! Alright. Now we want him to land on the turtle. So he has to pay the turtle money. And then we can power word one him. We just took a look at his hand, so I don't think he's got any equipment. He's going to be dealing 20. Yeah, I don't think there's anything he can do. Whatever. Some good first level opponent strategies there. Got a reward. Good luck to your next journey. Oof. Okay. 96. That's more than I want to pay. Got a best 50 hit points. We're gonna Fighter. face this dude. Tiger Beetle. If I make it around again, Goblin. then I'm gonna win. Hurricane. So long as he doesn't manage to take this one, huh? 30 strength versus 70. I can't wear armor. There's nothing for me to do, but he's got nothing here. And I attack first. The defense was too strong. I had to pay me money and lost a card out of the deal. Oh, nice. Giving some money to the hurricane there to build another wing you on its house. Oh. Good luck to your next journey. Okay, so do I use my power word one on him now to make him go to Amoeba Town? Or do I let him roll? Word six. One, two, three, four, five, six will get him there. One gets him there. Roll. Gamble. Aim for the castle. Ooh, to face his other bug. First attack. Gonna have 40 hit points. Got nothing to increase it, even though he would still be first attacker. Yeah, it looks like I'm paying him some cash. Three or four. <laughs> Giant bat. Lizard man. He's got nothing to up his attack. My hit points are 30. And... Uh, he attacks first still. 
not gonna matter. Yeah, look at my hit points there. Come on. Oh, he didn't attack. Okay, whatever. Achoo-joosh. Oh, uh, since he doesn't have enough mana on him to cover it, he needs to start essentially mortgaging his lands. So he loses the land and the monster on it. Don't don't do that, Golagon. Discard your card. Alright, we're not gonna need more turtle times. Excellent. Dude. <laughs> like the little evil glacier. Look at that little guy. And two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollar toll that unfortunately he's not going to have the opportunity to pay. But say love You've them. got a reward. You are the winner of this war. Nice. <laughs> Jump back. <laughs> he wasn't very good, was he? <laughs> Cute. Oh, charts. You can see here that he lost terribly. Total magic. Choosh. No, we don't need to save a replay. Okay, so this is the best part, because every time you play, you get more cards. And every time you win, uh, you get more cards. Let's see what we got here. Ah, oh, look at the little bard! <laughs> uh, now I wish I had taken the, the little green guy with the hat. Did my other button to see anything? No. Bard. Pursues a life of travel and will rarely stay in one location. Bard. Ooh, and you can make it say his name. Bard. Bard. Nice. And I like that they have the illustrator names on there as well. Alright, what's he do? Bonus attack. Warps to vacant land when the opponent could not be destroyed. Oh, that's sort of cool. And he's just constantly jamming out. That's awesome. Alright, Gas Cloud. Also great. This is the uh, the fire wall, essentially. I think. There might be a wall of fire. This guy is still a pretty good defense dude for uh, for red cards. Half damage. Uh, it doesn't suck. So to everything except scrolls, he has essentially got 60 hit points. As a body of smoke, a normal attack will be unable to affect him. No ability comment. Gas cloud. Sea bones. These guys are awesome. Oh, and his his little icon makes him look like he's in the tub. So these are giant sea monks. Okay, so he's just a defensive dude. That's cool. Advanced Guard of the Sea Monks. It has the power to neutralize the surrounding special abilities and lets fog rise. What? Not really represented in this card, but okay. So, he's cool. That's a big bug. Huge spider. Huge spider. Yep. 
Okay. Paralysis. We'll be unable to attack or use items and abilities. Bonus attack does... Alright, so if he if attacks first, they can't use their items. That's sort of cool. Good number of hit points. This guy looks cool. Garuda. Garuda. Oh, it's an... I don't think I've ever seen that spelling of Garuda before, but that's cool. I have to look that up. Strength and hit point during battle equals the placed wind creatures... A number of placed wind creatures times ten. That's cool. Servant of the god of wind. Your strength relies largely upon the wind's spiritual powers. Alright, so pretty good for a, an air deck. And a rare card. You can see that in the upper right hand corner there. We didn't hear the sea bonds voice. Sea bonds. Trample weed. Trample weed. Defensive. Changes in level cannot be made on the land. Eh. Sort of a good screw you card if you want to put it in, you know, another land or something, but. Alright, so giant tumbleweed. Battle axe? Plus 40! <laughs> Alright! Flame tongue? For its water creatures, that's cool. Flame tongue. Blave. Glive. Glive? No. Uh, strength and hit points. That's pretty cool. Alright, so that's level one. And we're gonna jump right on to level two. Now we're giants. Didn't he already introduce himself? Oh god, there's a whole world of bouncing ancient stickmen. Gemini. Spelled all fantasy like. Healthy and sea bonds plus greed equals wins. Nice. I am. Uh, no, we don't want to edit the book. Nice. I'm looking forward to like all sorts of strats during this during this stream. Take a look at the manual. Good. Thisburg. Dome Wood. Okay, Dome Wood sounds too stupid not to visit. Okay, we're going to edit our spell book. We'll start out with something basic. and who do we want to get rid of? We've pretty much got a yellow-blue deck at the moment. Goblins, skeletons. Got rid of two skeletons. Get rid of a wolf. So now we've got 47 cards, we can fill it with up to 50, let's see all of our cards now. This deal again, land limit, 
defense, no effects or abilities can be used during battle. Throw one of those guys in there. We're gonna keep it blue and yellow for the moment. Don't really have enough yellow cards to warrant throwing the Garuda in there, but... Hmm... Put in the glaive here since it's a good versatile card. Alright. Change book. We will go with book. Excited book. Ah! Oh! 